In this episode, we have one, a Michael Jordan concept, two, Miami Beach vibes, and three, turtles in a half shell. And for you customizers, stick around to the end where we discuss how to create custom colors. Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's Orlando. Welcome to Wall of Hype, where we showcase artists that can take plain kicks like Air Force Ones, Jordans, cleats, vans, and turn them into customs that sneakerheads love. But before I start, please hit that like and subscribe button if you're new. We have links to all featured artists and their work in the description below. Our first goal is to hit 1,000 subscribers. Now, let's get started. In this project, we have a design by Nico Swish, the shoes, an Air Jordan 1, the design, Michael Jordan 23. Now, I'm sad that this is the only picture that we have on this design. Just take a look at Michael Jordan stepping up, bringing the ball right above his head to then knock one down, the game-winning shot on this Air Force 1. Now, I don't know if this is just the custom or the concept. You know, I see a backwards Air Jordan logo there, but nonetheless, if this is what it's going to be or if this is the actual artwork, just take a look at Jordan and the different levels of detail or color blocking that was used. Not so much blending. Um, so if we zoom in here and we take a look at this, you got the blues, the beige, the reds, the dark browns. You got the whites. Just take a look at that. And then what I love about is look at the bottom of the three and the jersey. It's like it's melting away. This looks like it's art, like it's been painted on. Um, you can see uh, right above the Nike. Ah, Yeah, this one's tough, guys. This could actually be photoshopped. But when I look at the, the details on this, on the on the different leather panels, it looks too clean. Um, so it's more of a, an, in my mind, a concept, right? So if you look at the leather, the linings, um, there's just straight lines going over it. I wouldn't consider this a custom just yet. This is the concept to the custom, but I could be wrong. I'm a graphic designer. I understand how to blend, manipulate photos, and do all that fun stuff. By no means am I saying anything bad about Nico Swish. This is an artist. This guy has done amazing things. This one caught my eye. It's beautiful. It's a concept I would love to see in hand um, with, with more photos. So I just want to show this, talk about this, because I think it's amazing. Nico Swish, let's get some more photos. Would love to see this in different angles. Okay, here's a project by Unique Peace. The shoe, an Air Force One. The design, Miami. Summer is coming, Miami vibes, Miami beach. You got, you can do, you can say anything, but look at this, this level of detail and artwork. First, we can go straight into the Nike swoosh. A speckle or a splatter effect, more of a distress look and design, right? Uh, that looks like it could have been hand touched, hand painted, drop by drop. Um, but I'm curious on the on the distress. Um, looks like it could have been airbrushed and then you go across and then splatter, right? Um, the flamingo, beautiful. Um, we have uh, the pink, the dark tones, not the high, um, the light pink color, but that turquoise purple blend into the white and, and pink sky is just what Miami is known for, right? Then you have the palm trees in the background. Um, I think this is what a Miami shoe or a custom should look like. You, you already feel it. You feel that beach. You feel those vibes in this painting. Um, the flamingo, let's go back into that again. You can just look at those brush strokes. Um, not realistic, but the details and the shadows, the highlights. The colors, they're all there. Great work, beautiful piece. 
These are shoes that you can definitely pick up in a retail store. Great work, unique pieces. By Skin Customs, the shoes, the Yeezys, the design is from the classic series of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Big fan here. Growing up, that was a cartoon to watch. We got the four turtles, and then we got Shredder, Rocksteady, and Bebop, and then we got Krang. And then there's the hero and the half shells with Michelangelo holding the pizza. This is a great classic design on some modern kicks. I know everyone had their favorite. Mine was Leonardo, so I'm happy to see the sword. Skins custom, great design for the older generation. And we know retro things are back. And I love seeing this on some custom kicks. Now on to our bonus content. Here's a look into how to do color match, posted by De Jesus Customs. Now, a lot of people think you can just use the colors right off the shelf, but in the custom world, color matching is key. Think about all the different colors. You got Bart Simpson, not a simple yellow. You have a brand like Coca-Cola, that's not an off the wall red. And then when you even talk about shoes in general, you know, the breads, the North Carolinas, those are just not a simple blue that's just brought off the shelf. You have to take a few different colors, mix them to get that design. So here goes a video posted um, that I think opens up the idea of color matching. If you guys haven't really seen, let's check this out. So we got yellow. You see those different colors make up that off yellow, right? You got the grays and you can see the percentage there. Um, the pinks, that's five different pinks creating this color. And that's all trial, error, testing, getting a feel for it and creating those colors um, because the simple basic off the shelf purple is not gonna work. So this is a great inside look from De Jesus Customs for color matching. There's great videos on how to's out there, um, but as simple as red, green, and blue RGB, you can take those colors and you can start mixing, creating the oranges, creating the greens, creating the browns. You really need three colors, but here they take it to the next level of using those different colors to create. And white and gray are great shading colors. Most people think black is what brings the tone, but darker pinks, inside reds but if you're going to take a blue you want a darker blue to bring that shade down you can add black but black is going to muddy it right so take a look at this great inside scoop let us know in the comments below which color you think is the hardest to create That's it for this video. Please remember to hit that like and subscribe button to help out the channel. Comment below and let us know if the bonus content was helpful or which one of these custom kicks is your favorite. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you in our next video from Wall of Hunter.